Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Upnot III. I'm with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando Orange County based Social Security Disability Law Firm. Let's go ahead and begin. So the number nine credibility killer when talking during your Social Security Disability hearing, let's go through the first eight so that you know what they were and you can go watch the videos on them. Lying about drugs, lying about alcohol, lying about smoking, lying about where you live, lying about who helps you, lying about where you were, types of hobbies you enjoy, pets and their upkeep, and lying about your medication is number nine. Now, many of you get medication and you do not utilize it in the manner in which you were supposed to utilize it, right? So we're talking about where you sometimes take it, you sometimes make a concoction out of it, you sometimes integrate it into your life, you sometimes pick it up from, you know, the medicine depot that you like to go to. You sometimes go ahead and, and, and here's what happens. You will sit there and the judge will say, cool, you follow, the judge will say, are you following your medication as prescribed? Oh yes, your honor, of course, but of course, but of course, but of course, right? And that's, that's what you say. You do it less eloquently than that. That was of course of a high level of eloquence. So, you know, but then the record will have like, okay, claimant is not following medication regimen, claimant is, you know, abusing medication, claimant is, uh, you know, seeking medication, you know, things like that, where they're trying to get pain pills or whatever. So what happens there is a situation where the doctors will write into the fact patterns, you know, things about your actual utilization of those medications. And sometimes you'll tell the doctor, look, I didn't take it, I didn't want to take it, I didn't do it, I didn't pick it up, and whatever. Boom. Automatically, you are now part of the crew of people who do not follow the medication regimen. Ergo, we cannot use your testimony as valid testimony for whether or not your medication actually helps to cure you. Then you've got the ones where you get caught with the medication in your system and some heroin or some cocaine. That is also called not a good deal. That is also called a, you know, mal situation, a no bueno class five. That's not a good thing because that means that you are not following your medication regimen because you are high as a kite on other drugs, right? So that's not good either. So with that said, the proffered uh, suggestion would be that you ask your attorney ahead of time uh, specifically, is there anything in the record that shows improper use of medication or improper following of medication as prescribed or lack of picking up medication? Now, if you're homeless and you can't get medication, that can actually help your claim because, you know, it could show that you do need, you know, some sort of benefits to go ahead and follow some sort of regimen for medication purposes. That could be a good thing, but, or a bad thing, it depends on which judge you have. But if you're somebody who's like, you know, capable of, you know, dot, 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 having your medication, obtaining your medication, driving to you, getting your medication, picking it up, whatever, in that particular instance, it can become a problem because um, medication is what we have in the Western field as the best alternative to healing you. And I know that, you know, pharmaceuticals are not created with the purpose in mind of curing you. Um, anybody that thinks they are is <laughs> part of the problem. I get that. I understand that you are in a field in which, you know, as an American citizen, where they make the most money by not curing you and just treating symptoms, hence why they only come out with some sort of like, you know, continuous upkeep system, which costs millions by the end of your life. So I get that, but it's what we have. And if you can find something else to cure you, then get back to work, right? That's how it works. So that's number nine for credibility killer. Um, make sure you are able to show and say that you are following your medication as prescribed. Okay, my name is Attorney Walter Knott. If you want the most up-to-date information or you have a unique question, that's fine. Shoot me an email, give me a call, or go to our live event on YouTube every Thursday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard. All right? Have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.